California's Proposition 8. Since 2004, California, along with Connecticut, New Hampshire, New Jersey, and Vermont, has recognized legal unions, which afford partners all the rights and responsibilities of marriage under their state's laws. However, in 2004, for one month, the city of San Francisco issued marriage licenses to over 4,000 same-sex couples who had traveled from other parts of the U.S. and even from other countries to get married. Nearly 4,000 same-sex weddings were held until the Supreme Court of California declared that no further marriages could occur until a court hearing was held. Even though the court hearing did not result in gay marriage laws being passed, the 3,995 gay weddings held in one month showed how much the citizens of San Francisco supported gay marriage rights. In 2006, the mayor of San Francisco came forward and publicly supported gay rights. However, at the same time, there were various legislations in the works to ban gay marriage in the future. If this occurred, California would have a gay marriage amendment in their constitution stating that gay marriage is unconstitutional. This map of California shows the outcome of the vote on Prop 8. As most of the counties voted yes, shown by green, the law was passed with a vote of 52.3% to 47.7%, making same-sex marriage unconstitutional in the state. With this, the Northern California UCLA set out to overturn the amendment. Proposition 8 was a follow-up law to a law passed in the state of California in 2000 called Proposition 22 which made same-sex marriage illegal but was not strict enough for some citizens. Prop 8, also known by its formal name as the California Marriage Protection Act, was a bill in California to add an amendment to their constitution declaring that only marriage between a man and a woman is valid or recognized in California. This meant no same-sex marriage performed after the date the bill went into effect, November 5, 2008, would be recognized by the state. All citizens were allowed to vote on this bill, as well as many others, because of the special voting system in California that gives people more of a say in their government. After World War I, America was concerned about a communist revolution. The fear was so great that arrests were made without warrants, and unconstitutional searches led to several deportations. The American Civil Liberties Union was created in 1920 by a group of people who were worried about the loss of basic rights of freedom granted to all Americans by the Constitution. The ACLU motto, Because Freedom Can't Protect Itself, highlights the need to uphold and protect the freedoms that Americans enjoy. The First Amendment, the right to privacy, and due process of law are just a few of the civil liberties that the ACLU helps preserve. After Prop 8 passed, the ACLU felt that Under the, the 14th Amendment, mm -hmm. uh, which basically decided that equal protection of the law, um, which was, I think, the second or third clause of the 14th Amendment, basically decided that marriage equality should be legal um, in California um, in that, that specific circumstance of how marriage became legal in California. They then decided that the way to make marriage legal again in California was not a large argument that basically would declare marriage legal in every state. They decided that marriage should be legal only in California under those specific circumstances. So I'm not sure how much you know about California, but marriage equality for gays and lesbians was actually legal before property passed. Right, and then it um, became illegal. Exactly. So... They decide they basically the way they argued the case was because it was legal, and then those rights were taken away, 
that actually violated the 14th Amendment. Okay. So when they, when they petitioned the court back for how they passed, they argued that marriage equality should have been, like, you can't take a right away from someone. Um, so that's what they petitioned the court to say. Um, that actually, that argument was actually, that actually failed um, in, the, in the state Supreme Court. And at the same time, another organization actually sued um, the state of California saying that marriage equality should be illegal because marriage should be legal everywhere. But it's actually illegal to say that one group should be able to get married and another group can't. That's actually the case that's actually in front of the Supreme Court now. Okay. Um, they they still use that. kind of changed. And on their way, they changed their mind to um, say that marriage equality should be legal everywhere, primarily because their argument failed. Um, at the basic level, um, right now they're primarily focused on on actually pursuing that argument that marriage equality should be illegal everywhere. Um, they're, they've written an amicus brief um, for the current case in, in the Supreme Court. Um, they're working at the state level actually here in California to work toward the kind of overturning of property at a, at a voting level. Um, so they're working with groups that are working to put marriage equality back on the ballot. The ACLU goes about lobbying differently than most interest groups. Instead of going to individual representatives in the state, they go to the state legislature as a whole and tell them that if they pass a law or put it on the ballot for elections and it passes, they will sue the state. This is exactly what they did with Prop 8. Though this usually scares states, which have little extra money lying around, California was unfazed by the threats and put it to a vote anyway. This made the job of the ACLU a little trickier. Once they knew the law would most likely pass, they prepared a court case and sued the state of California the day after the amendment was voted on. Their argument failed in the state court, but they joined forces with other interest groups to work to create a larger group with more money and more support. This group is now working to make marriage legally defined by the federal government as a union between any two people, which would make same-sex marriages legal in all states, making California's amendment unconstitutional. Thanks to the help from these groups, California has allowed some marriages of same-sex couples to occur. These celebrities were very excited about the news. After the news of the outcome of the vote was released, celebrities turned to one of their favorite ways to express themselves to their fans, Twitter. At The Ellen Show tweets, Today we took another step towards equality. Hashtag Prop 8 was found unconstitutional again. Couldn't be happier. At Michael Uri tweeted a simple, Take that, Prop 8. Shelley Wright tweeted, I am a gay American and it's my constitution too. Hashtag NOH8. At Zach A. Young said, Since we are taking it to the Supreme Court, can we redesign the judge's robes? Hashtag sequins. Hashtag prop 8. At Sarah Colonna tweeted, It's a great day in California. Prop 8 ruled unconstitutional. Today, I'm very proud of where I live. Hashtag NOH8. So long as we have enough people in this country willing to fight for their rights, we'll be called a democracy. ACLU founder Roger Baldwin. I hopped up the plane at LAX with a dream in my cardigan. Welcome to the land of fame, access. Am I gonna fit in? Jumped in the